tether and the healing power of nature at the Aquarium of the Pacific. Come celebrate our 25th anniversary with new exhibits that highlight a remarkable natural world right outside our door. Discover 12,000 creatures of the sea and learn how saving them is good for us and our planet. Visit AquariumOfPacific.org for details. The Aquarium of the Pacific. The Chase Inc. Business Premier Card is made for Sam, who makes... Everyday products. Designed smarter. Genius! Like 2.5% cash back on purchases of $5,000 or more. So Sam can make smart ideas... A brilliant reality. Chase for business. Make more of what's yours. Good morning, I'm Megan Tellison for Frank Buckley. A man thought to be the arson suspect terrorizing a Long Beach neighborhood has been released from custody. We'll tell you why. Good morning, I'm Lena Bovian, live here at Union Station. Coming up next, LAPD is looking for a man who stabbed another man after boarding a train here. We'll tell you the latest on the investigation coming up next. Good morning, I'm Jessica Holmes. You never know what you'll see on one of those Hollywood tour buses. We'll show you uh, how some fans got quite the bang for their buck. Good morning, everyone. I'm Dana Devin in for Sam. He is the real estate broker slash reality star that is changing how the game is played. Jason Oppenheim from Selling Sunset joins us live to talk about a new season premiere. That's coming up in the Entertainment Report. Stay tuned. All right, good morning, everybody. On this Friday, heading into a weekend, uh, and it is going to be another hot weekend all the way across Southern California with those temperatures back up into the 100-degree mark in the uh, Valley Inland Empire. Also might see those numbers at about 100 degrees. Coastal today, 78, and that number will be into the 80s for most of the beaches by tomorrow. 87 downtown Los Angeles, San Fernando Valley, 100 degrees. 97 high desert, Inland Empire, 98 in Orange County Inland, all the way up to 90 one degrees. Kirk in traffic. Mark, thanks very much. On this hot weekend, as we get ready for everything, we're looking for uh, a busy morning commute. A uh, three-car crash at the 210 West at Myrtle in Monrovia, now blocking the carpool lane. As you can see, it's slow going for drivers there on the 210. Now, uh, to Bellflower we go. A two-car crash just registering now. This is the 91 east at the 605 uh, a little bit of a slope going there but it looks like things improve after you get past the 605. well that's the latest from the traffic center megan now back to you kirk thank you the lapd looking for a suspect who stabbed a man to death after a heated confrontation at an la metro station ktla's alina abovian is live in downtown la with the latest on this alina good morning Megan, good morning. That's right, the LAPD is still hoping to make an arrest in this case. Now, we don't know how the suspect and the victim knew each other, but we do know they boarded a train here at Union Station. The actual stabbing, however, took place at Pershing Square. So take a look at this. This is video. stabbed him. Police say they are not sure of the motive at this point, but the suspect he is clothing and a black backpack. He was last seen on the stairs of the platform and armed with that knife. Unfortunately, this is not the only case recently. Just last week, a person was stabbed at the Metro A Blue Line Southwest Museum Station in Highland Park. If it's like if the sun's out, you're cool, but in the mornings and at nighttime, not too much. You got to be careful. But I felt real safe. It wasn't really an issue. It's going to be some things that slip through the crack every now and again. Every person is security. The guys in uniform are not the only people that are security. Everybody that's, you could, you could be security. He could be security. I could be security. A guy walking by, see something, say something. Yeah, that really is the message here. If you see something, say something. And if you did see something, in this case, you're urged to contact the LAPD. I'm Lena Bergen, reporting live here at Union Station. We'll send it back to the studio. Alina, thank you. Police are investigating a stabbing at a Red Lobster in the San Fernando Valley. Officers were called to the West Hills location at about 7 o'clock last night, and they found a woman in her 60s.
with stab wounds inside the restaurant. She was transported to a hospital in unknown condition. The alleged suspect was discovered about a half a mile away with lacerations to his forehead. It's not yet known what might have led to the stabbing or whether the two knew each other. A chaotic scene on the 5 freeway in Anaheim overnight. This happened just before the Magnolia Avenue exit around 1.30. Dozens of people were seen running on the freeway, stopping traffic. Some drivers also seen doing donuts on the freeway. Witnesses say CHP tried to go after some of the drivers. However, it is unclear if any arrests were made. Wow, a dramatic cliff rescue caught on camera. A crew with the L.A. County Fire search and rescue team hoisted a driver and a passenger to safety in Malibu after their vehicle went over a cliff. It happened just after midnight along a passenger were flown to clear what led to the accident. Residents in a Long Beach neighborhood once again living in fear, knowing the arsonist who has torched multiple cars in the area is still on the loose. Police made an arrest earlier this week, but yesterday officials uh, let the man go, saying they got the wrong person. KTLA's Mary Beth McDade has the story. Kaylee Matabana watches as her torch truck is towed away from the Long Beach parking structure where an arsonist set it on fire on Tuesday. The gas cap still open where she says the arsonist threw in some sort of igniter to spark the flames. It's really sad to see. I love this truck. I worked really hard for this truck. Like I said, I just paid it off and I used it to commute 40 miles to Mount Sac every single day. Her truck is one of five vehicles that authorities say was burned by an arsonist over the past two weeks in parking garages in the downtown area of Long Beach. Three of those charred occurred inside the Camden Harborview apartments off Ocean Boulevard, where Kaylee lives. The fire chief announced Wednesday that police had arrested a suspect in the case, but the district attorney's office says they didn't file any charges against him because after a further probe, arson investigators determined the arsonist is actually a different person. It's just unfortunate that I didn't hear about the news of his release sooner. Hearing there's still an arsonist on the loose has filled Kaylee with fear. She says as a nursing student who also works as a paramedic, she often comes and goes in the wee hours of the morning. As I'm worried about my physical safety, my partner's physical safety, as well as all the other residents that live in this community's safety. Kaylee says despite cameras in the parking structures, Camden Apartments hasn't been able to provide any videos of the arson attacks. She doesn't think the cameras actually work and is now moving out. So my partner and I, we are now moving in with her parents. Um, we've been paying too much money here. We haven't been given the safety and security that we were promised upon signing our lease. So we're just done. Mary Beth McDade, KTLA 5 News. Mary Beth, thank you. New at 8, a bear cam is being credited with helping to save a hiker's life. Live stream viewers tuned into a bear cam waiting for bears, but instead found a hiker. Here's video of the camera. Uh, this happened Tuesday at Dumpling Mountain at Katami National Park in Alaska. Viewers noticed this hiker entering the frame saying, I'm lost, help me. Viewers then notified the staff through the live cam comments. A rescue team managed to locate the distressed hiker, brought him back to safety through the windy and rainy conditions. Katmai. Uh, okay, the live cameras at Katmai National Park, best known for capturing the area's brown bears, though it looks like they are resting because it's a live picture now. Uh, we've personally viewed them here live for the last few months, and oh, Mark was just asking like that. Cam. Yeah, that's that our the cam. camera. And I guess it is the camera that we peek in on from time to time. How incredible. Yeah. Saved a Wouldn't life. that be something if we were the ones who uh, yeah, yeah. found the uh, lost right. uh, hiker? But well, there you go. Our bear cam. Mm -hmm. All right. No bears today. Yeah. But the, and uh, they, the camera did its uh, job right yeah. there. Yeah. Seven minutes after 8 o'clock. Hey, good Friday morning. Heading into the weekend. Any plans, ladies? You know. I don't know. Yes. Just working. It, yeah. It's just <laughs> yes, it's, weekend show. We're such exciting is, people. I, Why did I even bother? You know what? <laughs>
And I'm doing the same thing. Speak Nothing. for yourself. Oh, no, right. USC plays at home. Stanford gets. Okay, okay, there you go. Yeah. Oh, yeah. No Beyonce. No, uh, no Taylor no, Swift. No. no uh, nothing yeah. going on. This nothing week. to report here. Sports. Nothing to report here. Yeah. Dodgers are on the road. <laughs> and uh, no Messi either. That was uh, quite the action uh, or action-packed weekend last weekend.